Welcome to clickmyproject.com The project title is Underwater Image Restoration Based on Image Blurness and Light Absorption In this process, the abstract is We propose a depth estimation method for underwater scenes based on image blurness and light absorption which can be used in the image formation model that is IFM to restore and enhance water images the proposed method estimate underwater scene depth more accurately. Experimental results on restoring real and synthesized underwater images demonstrate the proposed method outperforms other IFM based underwater image restoration methods. The project flow diagram is to remove the blur from underwater images. Initially, we are collecting the data set about our process. Next we have to choose any one of the images input image so that going to process our input image. Next we have to apply the pre-processing method. In this pre-processing method to add motion and Gaussian blur of our input image. Then we have to initialize the iteration equal to 1 before deblurring our image. Next we estimate the angle. Here we estimate the three types of angle. First one is fine angle estimation, then second one is coarse angle estimation, and third one is BL estimation. Next we have to deconvolute the image. It can be each maximum iterations will be increased. Otherwise, loop will be going to angle estimation. Next, deblur the image and finally we measure the performance. Our project source code file was run from the command window. In current folders shows some files. In our source code file was main.m. So it is our source code file. So we have to run the main.m file. So right click to give run. So it is the guide design model. So initially we have to read the input image so we have to click the read image. So in this read image going to data sets. So in our data sets are collecting from the underwater images. So we have to click any one of the input images. So it is our input image. So next we are going to resize the image. So in this resize there are two options are there. First one is 256 cross 256. That means 256 means rows and column value. Then another choice will be 512 cross 512. So we are going to choose any one of the size. So according to the size, the image will be shown. It is resized image. After resizing image, we have to separate the channel. So in the channel separation, we are going to three subdivisions are there. So it is red channel, green channel and blue channel. So why these three channel means we are get we are read the input image as RGB image. So R means red, G means green and blue means B. So we are choosing three images channel. So it is the red channel. So it is the blue channel. Then finally we are getting the blue channel. So after channel separation we have to blur add some noise so we have to give the blur image so in the blur we have two types are there so first one is Gaussian blur and second one is motion blur so when you are choosing the Gaussian blur means the image will be like this so the type means Gaussian dimension is 25 and sigma value is 5 so it means sigma means it is add some noise so next we have to click the motion blur so in this motion blur dimension is 20 and sigma value that means noise will be 45 so after choosing the our motion and Gaussian blur, next we have to move. So next we have to deblurring the image. So in deblurring above the toolbar, give the deblurring option. So we have to click the deblurring. So remove the Gaussian blur. So it it will take some time to deblur the image. So the value will be shown on command window. 
so it's going to separate the three channels so initially the PSNR value will be 27.71 so it's going to deblur the three different type of channels red green and blue so it is the image deblur for Gaussian after deblurring the our Gaussian we have to get the our restored image so it going to separately deblur so red channel and green channel and blue channel so initial PSNR and final PSNR values are shown in the each channels so our MSC that means mean square are also shown in the image so in each iteration how much PSNR value will be increased so that going to analyze our command window so next we have to deblurring to our motion blur image so we have to give the motion blur images so it is the motion blur initial is 27.62 so it is also going to separate the three channel to deblur the our image after deblurring our motion blur so we have to retrieve our original image with some noise so the initial PSNR value will be 29.53 and the final PSNR value will be 31.94 so it is for each separate channel will be calculated as our initial PSNR and final PSNR and also measure the mean square error so finally we analyze the performance so it is the performance analysis for our process so the project demo was completed. Thanks for watching this video.